And a very good evening and welcome to another late night broadcast coming all the way from location 419. Uh, the fifth day of February 2021. Uh, the time is just coming up to 10 o'clock. It's getting a little bit very late here in Nigeria. My name is Ola Yomi Koiki. Uh, a lot of you know me as Koiki Media. Moki Bubuenti, Etin Darak, Bomoy, to now continue to share the broadcast and let us have another conversation. Uh, depending on how strong the body is, uh, it will determine how long we can roll the program for. Uh, when I get tired, uh, we will wind it down and we will continue tomorrow. Moki Bubuenti, Etilan Faniati, Darak Bomoy to know. We Ekabo Suri to know. And we will play the anthem. And we also start looking at so many conversations. Uh, because a Yoruba nation is the cause, a Yoruba nation is no backing down. But also, we will be using the opportunity to also inform the federal government to tread carefully, to tread carefully because things can change at any time. The federal government knows where the terrorists are. They know where their bank accounts that they are using to transfer money around the world. And I'm sure a lot of you remember the few terrorist guys that were picked up in UAE. And they've been operating for a very long time. But it seems the federal government decide to close their eyes Why terrorists while terrorists are operating with impunity not just in Yoruba land but across the whole of the country so we are telling the federal government that the Yorubas of this generation are not joking and we mean every word that we speak out in your Kokon Le Derubawa I feel long about tea and sin. The Kony Ani Iberufu. You can be scared of the federal government, but myself and so many of you are not scared of the federal government because there has always been a generation that have conquered before. So it's not going to be new, whatever will happen as we move into. The dimension of a reality that a Yoruba nation is not going to back down. We have said it for a very long time. And I'll repeat it again. We have the opportunity to break away from this country peacefully. So that we can secure Bantuan Senior. We can secure our, our properties. We can secure our region. We can make sure that everybody is accounted for. 
this generation is not the generation that the federal government thinks are the answers. We are not answers. My name is Olayomi Koiki. And I'm inside Nigeria. I am not answers. But let's play the anthem. And we take the program forward. Share the broadcast. I'm not going to repeat that again. If you like, it will be of opportunity for the next person that does not know I'm live. To know that we are live. I've not been coming on frequently. But I will make sure I keep every one of you up to date of what is happening. And the only thing that is happening is Nigeria must break. We are not interested in Nigeria. If anyone is interested in Nigeria, let them go to the northern part of Nigeria and live there with them. We are Yorubas. And we are not joking. And we mean every word that we have been saying for the last how many years. The federal government does not know what we can do. So they must tread carefully with us because we are not answers. Let's play the anthem. If you know it, sing along with us. following us and all other media houses. I appreciate all my colleagues that have taken on the button even though I have not been online frequently. I've just listened to Sister Dara. I've watched Babai Kitty. I've watched Geo TV. I've watched Bedu. I've been following some of the programs even though you know the internet might not be as good as we might want to watch it. I can understand now why people say that I want your league bunk or so even though the internet that we are spending with different network we still cannot get a very good service. I still cannot use the laptop. So I understand the feelings of those in Nigeria. But we can only tell you that let us all join hands together. It doesn't matter how small or how big your own impact. It will go a very long way. It will help the generation that will pray for us. I received a call from someone this afternoon. And as usual, I do receive a lot of calls. And I take every call as important as anything else. If you get through to me, I will speak to you and I will allow you to tell us why you are not happy. Because feedback is very, very important. 
But one thing we must understand is the fight for Yoruba nation is not about me. It's not about Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igbowo. It's not about all the media. It's about collective effort. So if I am saying that we are telling the federal government, I have also included you, doesn't mean I am the bravest. We have so many people that are much more stronger than Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igbowo. Tony Agbara Julo. But they keep quiet. And they are just waiting for things to change. We are tired of this country. I don't know about millions of other people. But some of us are tired of this contraction we call Nigeria. Otisua. Kujekale misi iwaju kujekale misayi. So obeta kapari intagbedani. But like a call, a jack of food job Nigeria. But it basically of a Benny your Monday. But like county chief Sunday, a day yamo ibowo. Cut the day, dear. Cost she's uru. Come on, Jack, pay between Nigeria to fake me. Lamba boy. A sofun, a kilo fun, a da da. A sofun job on Nigeria. This is not a threat. One more bit terrorist sitting or prayed. Well, block account one. Topping move away all over the place. So in your one so pay. Ah, Fefula and Nimonori Lewa. That's the person you want to block his account. And you think we will sit down and allow that to happen without taking any action. I don't have to tell you what we're going to do. But we are waiting for that to take place on Monday. And we will then prove to this government on Monday what we can do. Toba be a liar government that could be saying any Monday. I want to ask you what we are going to do. I'm inside Nigeria. Can what we are say account of a block here. Ni Monday. Everything happening in Asso Rock is right happening on this phone. Every step, every move that they do is also with us. And we are not joking. We will set this fire burning. The country will go in flames one way or the other. Whether the federal government likes it or not, we will set this country on fire. Serious fire if they make that attempt on Monday. Because we have had enough of the nonsense that is taking place and we, they think that we are just stupid people. Because we have some Yorubas, politicians, colliding, colluding. One dollar for one, one job fulani against us. We will ground the system down completely and it can be done. I don't have to give you details. She fulani la shinle, si on tawalara. Tabawa shik be se jinko. We have been negotiating our way out for decades. But it seems some of them are blockhead. They think that this generation will just continue to shout on social media. But what they cannot understand is, what are the million things that we can do collectively? What about if we activate all that across the whole Southwest with one language that is Yoruba, with one word that is Yoruba? So whoever is advising the federal government, they better tread carefully so that we can continue to do our awareness 
as we are doing it now. So far, we have not been violent. But I have said it so many times that things will change along the line. A Yoruba nation is not something we will negotiate with anybody. I have told you, not even the G20, not even Great Britain where I live, not even America, not even Joe Biden can stop it. It doesn't matter how powerful American government is. They cannot stop the Yoruba nation. It is a dream that must become a reality. And we are ready to do everything possibly best to make it happen. And we are already on that course. So if they think that they can tamper with one account, tell them they are already going to tamper with millions of people. So whoever is watching from the federal government, go back and tell them that they are going to tamper with something that they will not be able to finish eating. This generation is not our mother's and our father's generation. We are a breed of different generation. And we want to make sure that a Yoruba nation we stand. We've been played so long with the Maradona of different kind. Once again, I say a very good evening and welcome to the broadcast. A Yoruba nation that we are shouting for is not a Yoruba nation on social media. It's not about the Fulani terrorist that is making life unbearable for us. It is about a system that is not designed for the Yoruba people. We have literally gone more alori life show, they say, more alori progress, they say. My Lord, broadcast me saying. All right. We have literally gone 60 years behind schedule. And we don't have the time to joke and mess around. We are 60 years behind schedule. So the question now is, can anybody add 60 years? See how Jory won this thing. Ijo o gon la fe badun. Ilya yeta wai. So when some of you are saying that, uh, like somebody that called me and they start telling me, eh, 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 kinikon, eh, eh, ogun, mouni, she, ilo yi bote yin be yin, wo, jag mouni beri. That's the question I asked the person. She, ilo yi bote yin be yin, wo jagun ni beri ka wa to de be ta wa wa n gbadun ni sin ta wa joko si loyin bo ta n so pe a fe je ki wa la divide this is not about politics here i don't want us to keep mixing it and this is not about chief sunday ade yemo it's about every single one of us i saw so wore e wo ba se treat e look at the way they were treating him i was watching him today in abuja but they think that we are stupid. We will just allow them to continue to maltreat every Yoruba sons and daughters. And keep your mouth shut if you say, you know, you know, you know, you know what has got nothing to do with Yoruba nation. I'm not interested in that. We will defend every Yoruba sons and daughters. These is going to get nasty. The first major is on the countdown already. The 90 days is already on the countdown. But we are not backing down. 
on what we called a Yoruba nation. Whether we go peacefully or not, whether we go through anarchy, whether we go through another war, so be it. I would rather go into a war where I know that this country will no longer bear Nigeria than continue to be in a country where we are 60 years behind schedule. Some of you don't even understand the atrocity that this country you call Nigeria has literally done on the millions of so many lives that are not even just Yoruba people. Where impurity of few people have kept every one of us to the lower, lowest stool, where we are now becoming an asylum seeker in another man's country. Where we have become an asylum seeker because our own land is about to go into extinction. Mm -hmm. And it seems everybody thinks that this is a joke. But we are telling them that the Yoruba nation is not something that we will negotiate. I stand firm, firm, every day I wake up with the Yoruba nation cause. And that is why I prove to those that say we cannot come down to Nigeria and do the same thing we are doing in UK. UK, why they get be illiba banning? UK accommodated us after we have paid the due price. Some of you paid 20 years, some of us 30, 40, and I'm sure some of you understand what I'm talking about. So are we going to allow more generation to seek asylum in UK, in America, in Germany, in France, in Italy, in Lebanon, in Cairo, in Saudi Arabia, so that we can leave our land to the terrorists to operate with impunity and the federal government close their eyes? I'm sure, I don't want to pay any video. I'm sure you've listened to the governor of Benue State that is asking the federal government, why would they... Fulani terrorists carry an AK-47. And then you want to collect the pump rifle from an average citizen in the country. Have you not seen how many people have been killed? The question is, this country is no longer working for every one of us. Is it a must that we must be together? Say, Dodon Lalati, we are together. Why must we be together? Oh, for the selfish interest of some few Yoruba bastard and some Igbo bastard and Aousa bastard and some other tribes that wants to keep Nigeria as a gays people that are now going to go and seek asylum and die on the Mediterranean Sea. Is that what you want us to do? So we should be playing politics. Oh, or the churches and the mosques that are telling us that we go to heaven, but right here we are in hellfire. That we must live in a painful life. As I just one hour ago, somebody was asking for 5,000 naira. Is that a country? 5,000 naira, just less than an hour ago. The daughter has been in the, you know, in the, in the hospital, but they are looking for 5,000 naira. Is that the kind of country you want us to continue to play with the lives of the people? And people think this is about, you know, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram conversation. We are talking about reality of what is happening to our people. Oh, yes, some of us have opportunity to have neglected and decide. But what about the generation that is coming? What do we tell them? Kilamas of Kilamas of Ilayo Ramania Abe. 
what kind of life are we going to tell the next generation that we live, that we saw, and we refuse to do anything? 5,000 Naira. The person was looking for. We have people that are all over the country, not just even in the southwest, that does not even understand why we are called Nigeria because the crude oil that is meant to be for the whole country has been gagged by few people. So, who is really asking us to keep one Nigeria? Some people will say it's about leadership. Are you serious? leadership. They are playing our lives like Ludo and Kite, Emma Kite. But we are telling them that no retreat, no surrender. Kakaki, I want in one Nigeria. I are damaged one Nigeria. Kakaka, I want in one Nigeria. I are damaged one Nigeria. You take me, Koni, Koni, be anybody, Nua, Atawan, Atawau, Koni, be anybody. And it will happen. But what we are doing now, and what we've been doing, is we've been doing just the awareness. Tell those politicians. And let me come straight to our governors, all the Yoruba governors that still think that they will go for another election in 2023. That it is too late for that now. That the Yorubas are now more wiser. We are not interested in any political party, whether they are PDP, AAC, uh, APC, uh, COA party, whatever party they are. We are not interested. And that is why we say we will not go for another election on the fraudulent of this country called Nigeria. This country must divide so that everyone, if some Yoruba don't want to go along with us, so be it. They can go to the north and operate from there. But we will make life un unbearable, miserable for those that still want one Nigeria. We will make life miserable for them the way they have made life miserable for so many of us some of you are in nigeria your life has been miserable some of you are living outside the country you don't even know what kind of life you are living you are just waking up every day and you are thinking hey, life language huh? are we really living a proper life are we really living a proper life i am asking question are we living a proper life? Every day you wake up, ask yourself, even whether you live in America, knowing that your root is about to go in extinction. Let us tell all the legislatives in Yoruba land that if they are Thinking about 2023, they better start thinking otherwise. Because we will not allow election to hold in this country they call Nigeria in 2023. That's if Nigeria does not break before 2023. Because we've had enough of the nonsense that is taking place. Tell all the senators that are representing the Southwest. That we have had enough of their game, but we are not going aligned with another election. And they can make any attempt of whatever they plan. But Toba to de mo pe iya nja mo yoruba lo to bi bi ta wa fin pariwo a ti wa leyin ko ni ti wa loju because i see and i feel and i know that there are so many yoruba politicians 
that are having meetings day in, day out, thinking about 2023. But they are not thinking that this country is going on fire. That this Buhari's government is about to make this country go on fire as quickly as possible. And they think we are going to be scared of them. Scared of who? Who are we going to be scared of? We can only be scared of the creator. The one that created me. When nobody knew when I was going to be created. So why should I be scared of the federal government? Who is the federal government that we should be scared of? Are they, are they God? They are not God. They are just human beings like me. And why should I be scared of them? Scared of who? Scared of the governors. Shehima Kinde. Scared of Grababiodu, Shonwolu. Scared of who? And we are going to make sure that every Yoruba state, we will defend it to the last man standing. And I am repeating it again. We will defend every Yoruba territory. We don't want Fulani on our land. It's not just about Fulani. We don't want to be part of Nigeria. Being part of Nigeria is crime against humanity. Crime against humanity. And it is time that we tell those Yorubas, politicians, to come back home before it is too late. colleagues that you know them. All the Yoruba politicians representing us tell them to back down. That we are not going to take this easy with them. We are not. Advise them. Tell them that this breed of generation is different. And we are not just talking on social media. Go and speak to your uncles, those of you that your uncles are politicians. Tell them the politics of Amala and Eba that they have been playing with our life is enough. Where I see young children selling on the high road and a politician will drive next to them in air condition while their own daughters are outside the country sending dollars to them and pound sterling but go on the high road now on all our major high road you will hear cries of mothers that does not have money to feed their children and people think this is a joke we will sacrifice up to the last man standing because we have had enough enough of this contraction called Nigeria but what can you do as individuals as groups of people you don't need that to contact us before you do something the role of a Yoruba nation is not about Professor Banja Kitoye alone it's not about me it's not about every single one of us must now stand firm it's not about until you see Sunday Bowo go from one place to the other. No. It's about every one of us to defend what belongs to us. And we will defend it shoulder to shoulder together across the whole Yoruba land. We have told you so many times The, the atrocity that has been committed on the Yoruba people, some of you might not even understand it. Even myself included. The damage that this country, damage it will it is, jambati will it is, fuwa, eh, te, le, besinu, oshunwa, ke wane fe, we, Let's leave our kings, but let's focus and tell the Yoruba politicians 
because they seem to be thinking that we have forgotten about them. All the parties that they are playing with our lives. We are telling them to start debating about the Yoruba nation right in the House of Assembly. But they are thinking that it is. She be watching Ribi Joko see. Watching Ribi Joko see. Nima tuwa ba Ribi Joko see. Ta ono Ribi imu. Ta Ribi imu. Ta imu wo. Timu wo. Tom Fonferi lojo jumo. Then they will know that we are serious. Lo ri tagbe dani. To ri in tagbe dani. Kon shere rara. In tagbe dani. Kon shere. Kon shere ba atamala. We are talking about how our lives would be better. Decades, decades, decades. Because in a thousand years, you cannot change the mindset of the Fulani terrorist. And we have a government that is protecting the interest of the Fulani. Let us tell them again, don't take that step to block Chief Sunday Adeyemo account on Monday as the federal government is taking the step. This is not just about protest now. It's about action that will lead to so many things. That action is already in the pipeline. Some of those action is what we've been doing for one year. Talking to people. Engaging whether they believe it or not. But this time around, real action will also start enrolling. And then, the federal government will know whether we are serious or we are not serious. And we will want them to prepare very well for us. Because we are also preparing very well for them. And let's also use this opportunity to tell all the Yorubas working with this government to tread carefully because this is a fight for every single Yoruba sons and daughters. We are not telling you to leave the position you are working right now. I will be stupid to tell you to do so. But as Yoruba sons and daughters that we are crying for the benefit that will be something that every single one of us will enjoy in the long run. Whether you are in the military, whether you are in the navy, whether you are with the police, whether you are civil servant, your interest must be with the Yoruba people. Interest in Olatiwa Lorati Yorubanio that have disrespected you have never allowed you to get to that position of even as 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 a, a inspector general of police we've never had a yoruba person when was the last time a yoruba man was the inspector general of police when was the last time a yoruba person was the chief of staff we know the game that they're playing the north Killing all our men and women just like Tolu Lokba Rutile was killed because she would have been the first female Navy officer or whatever they give them as position. But rather, she was killed right inside the same country. So every single one of you working with the federal government or the state level when the clarion call is made, you must back down for the interest of the Yoruba people. Because if you do not back down for the interest of the Yoruba people, your generation will be wiped off completely as well. Along with the Fulani terrorist government. Because this government is a terrorist government that have literally killed millions of people and millions of people are still being killed as we speak right now. Go on the high road. Go in our hospital. Go to everywhere. Nothing is functioning. Is that the kind of life you want us to continue? So if you have family working with the security agents, 
whatever one a loss of one that da a fan one lady a one lale or my jabba luau this is not about chief sunday adi yemo or koiki or whoever you think are powerful the spirit will fight on our behalf the god of the yoruba land will fight on our behalf and to buy that way it can be now to sorrow the lori nigba te ba ri wa lori show but to buy that way lori o ti to la wa joko le lori ti motori e wa si nigeria ti motori e so pe awon to wa ni le just to prove to you that there's nothing that can make me scared to come back home. I could have continued all this program in UK, but just to let those that were doubting Thomas that I cannot come home. Why would I not be able to come home? This is my father's land. The spirit and the gods will protect me. Oh yes, they will do all manners of things, but that's if the God allow them to be successful on it because Orio Tito and that alone is worth more than millions of other things. So advise your relatives if family tidada but kini oh my ya and they should listen to us as we are telling them. I don't have any problem with the Yoruba policeman or Yoruba policewoman. They are not my problem. I don't have problem with the Yoruba military man or Yoruba military woman. Same with Navy, same with Air Force, same with different, different units. But our problem will be if they are going to use the same energy with the full army to come after us. Then there will be cause forever. You know what my pare pata pata. Those that say that they have so much money and they are Yorubas, I pity them because they are looking at us as if we are so desperate and we don't know what we want or we don't know what we need because they are so comfortable in their own zone. But they do not understand that these nation that they're calling Nigeria will go away very soon. It will. Nigeria will end. How it will end is what myself and you do not know. But we call the end here. Leave that. Nigeria will definitely end. It will eventually end. Because everything that you are looking at, where is Yemi Osibajo, the vice president, shot man devil? Where is he? Where is he? He's been caged. He can no longer talk. Because is that a professor? Professor of law. I have told him to resign his position in his best interest as a Yoruba man. He doesn't have to finish with this government. He can resign now. He can resign tomorrow. Where is he? A professor of law where Yoruba people are being killed and he's not saying anything. Where is the vice president? Where is he? So what is the essence of his education? As a professor, you would expect that as a professor, he would have common sense to do the right thing as he's done around the world. But he's no longer interested in Yoruba as well. He's more interested in maybe his own ambition as well. Maybe he think he can become the next president. He's wasting his time. And that goes as well with all the Yoruba politicians. They think that they are more than us. I laugh. Professor Ruga, yes, you're right. Sorry, I can't read all the comments, you know, because I'm very tired, but I have to do this.
let us tell Professor Ruga, Yemio Sibajo, where is all these big pastors and these imams? Why are they not saying anything? So they want us to continue to pray to God and then we will go to heaven and then have a good life. We must have that good life before we die in this Yoruba nation. So all those churches still praying for one Nigeria, the unity of Nigeria, you are all bloody wasting your time. Because there is nothing called unity. The unity has expired long time ago. We are not united and we can never because we are not the same. And we will never, never be the same. Where is all the professors across the university around the whole of the country that are Yorubas? Are they happy with the situation of things? Because you keep moving it. Are they happy with the situation of things? Is it how we're going to continue to deceive ourselves that we are living a normal life and then until we die, we will then... How many of our parents that are still alive, we give thanks? What about those that have died? What was their benefit of this country called Nigeria? Ask yourself that question. Your parents that have died, that have passed on, may their soul rest in peace. What has been their benefit of this country called Nigeria? I can see you there, Citizen AY. And all our media houses. What has been their benefit? What has been the benefit of all your parents? <coughs> <coughs> what has been their benefit? what has been their benefit what has been the benefit of your parents or your grandparents that have died since they were coming from one Nigeria so why not allow us to destroy this one Nigeria before it destroyed the next generation once again we are not going to negotiate with anybody. And let us warn all the politicians that whatever money that they have that they want to use either to bribe, to maim, to kill, to destroy, it is too late. It will be better for them to keep that money and go and enjoy it. But if they are thinking that... Uh, you know, they will use their money and their influence to suppress the Yoruba nation movement. It is extremely late now. It is late. It is completely late. Very, very late. So we are advising them for their own interest that they back down. Because we are not going to step back we are moving forward every day. Our awareness has not stopped. Our campaign has not stopped. And that is why every single one of you is better we put every effort, every last penny we have, whether you donate to different platforms, as long as the cost of it is to liberate our people. It does not literally have to be Koiki Media. I've seen Maureen go fund me. You can see what triggers. Let us continue to support. Let us continue to do as much. Let us take the awareness to every single part of the Yoruba land. You don't have to consult us before you do it. 
You don't have to see me or speak to me before you do it. We appreciate every single donor. Every single one of you. It doesn't matter how small, how big. We would rather use our energy to come out of this contraction. Because if not, you cannot come back home. Because your home is no longer safe. So why then are we fooling ourselves and we don't throw every weight? Let's throw it into it. Once again, for the benefit of those that are in doubt that this country will break, something will trigger it. Something will push the breakup. But we must all remain vigilant. The federal government does not know that they are already chewing what they cannot bite. One day into war, they believe that this is like in the 1960, 1966, and all those times. But what they don't understand is this. Is a different time entirely they call it time zone the time zone that they don't understand how it would all happen in their eyes some of you will ask what can we do what should we do these are the same question that a lot of people ask but you can do so many things you can continue to speak to people engage the people those that are thinking that because we have bad political leaders and all those nonsense that is why you know uh, we are trying to say we should break away from nigeria but they don't understand the genesis of nigeria where great britain join us in this false marriage that has put every one of us in danger No luck. We're having problem with the Wi-Fi, but let's see how far it goes. We must not back down. We must not give up. We must not get tired. Some of you say we've lost weight. Is it not better to lose weight fighting the cause that is right than for me sitting down in the UK and eating McDonald's every day and become so big and then my people are suffering where somebody cannot get 5,000 Naira for medical care for their daughter. So what is the essence of me eating big, big food in Europe where my people, my people, they suffer for ground here? Kila fanye. Kila fanye kubo. Wala tawana nshe. Tolikwe elobi amani. Wala iti frewa kwa Dubai. She ko better ki wala yen ko po. Dan pe ki arope awa ninu badun. But awon mo ti abisita at awon to bisinu le Olorun je ko jore. Are we going to move everybody out of the Yoruba land to go and live in UK and claim asylum or in Scotland in Dublin? I have really I've, I've watched some of the videos of you know stupid bloggers that say, you know, uh, we don't know what we are talking about. We want to break up this country. What the, what, what the fuck is in this country? Rubbish, what is in this country? What is literally in this country? What is in this country? I'm asking them. What is the benefit of this country? Who is it benefiting out of the whole country itself? Talon benefit. So when they say we should keep you know the country uh, you, the question you ask uh, you, you should be asking them is what is the essence of keeping this shit all even shit is better because sometimes the shit is either thick or pete pete but the shit of this country has done damage to millions of people that some of you will never even have opportunity to see go on the road 
go to Ibadanye, go to Ogu State, go to Lagos, go to Ilori, go to Kogi, and those are part of Yoruba land that we must take back. And we will not leave them behind. All these other Seriki should be prepared for us. We are coming to every state. No more Fulani on the Yoruba land. Enough is enough. No more Fulani terrorists terrorizing us, killing our mothers, sleeping with them, plucking somebody's eyes. These are animals that we cannot live with. And we are not interested to negotiate with anybody. Enough is enough. And we must end this contraction. I will open the phone line for a few minutes. If you are calling, please make sure you mute the device. So that we are not hearing the feed coming back. So that I can also hear from you, so that you are not saying that ah, koi kini kon wolun soro, oh, they can't me nae opportunity at the soro. But I know that we are all on the same page. I have told you I am just an ordinary guy, but what I know is I will fight this to the end, to the end until we get what belongs to us. Take few calls quickly, not more than a minute. Go straight to your point. There's not much of greetings because there's so many people watching and I know thousands of you want to have your voice into it. Hello, caller. Straight away to your question or contribution tonight. Look, I've never listened to you before, but you speak correct things. And may God Almighty bless you. Amen. And all these things, I know you mentioned you wanted to take back some Yoruba land. However, I want to want pencil. There is a story to move on, which is about a year ago. Oti 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 but in that part of war, listen, only where do we go from here? What do we do? How do we proceed? How do we move forward? Because I don't have been saying to know when the matters are going fair. Everybody must want pressure to tell the political elite that we are not going to go align with them for 2023. Whatever they are it. thinking is as that simple as that. It. We are My telling them this look, is not about the royal fathers anymore. Now we are focusing I now on the political elite. I've listened to Maureen, I've listened to other people. Look, you speak so much sense. You speak so much sense, and this is it. Where do we go from here? Only this uh, money that they, we try to contribute. I don't know how much came out of my wallet to contribute to, 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 to us, uh, GDF, uh, Sunday. Uh, and block it hmm. but we need to put a strategy in place okay so that these people do not rule us any further now you mentioned Fulani yes. Fulani are already in in in, in, in Ogu. can you imagine can you imagine can you imagine hmm. the man of Igbo hmm. the he, he, oh, I said it only 500 million Mm. Where did he get the money from? from yeah. hey, Gerardo, Gerardo Where did he get the money from? Mm. And he is hold on, sir. Just, sir. Do you have our Boris, our Prime Minister? Do you yeah. have his mobile number? He full of name. Come on, your wall lale. Only number. 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 It, 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 it's just it, it's just shameful yeah. just shameful mm. you do not boo or new mm. because this man i'm sorry he has it's like he wants to back what i know yes sir please okay. if you go back to that story yeah. me 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 lauren yeah. what's it by lauren here 
a lot of foreign shit. Oh, oh no, they pass because yeah. they, they will come under him mm. and he, he decide who does what. There is another doctor. Uh, about to then, rap so that woman, give more then, calls then, when mm. Indeed, I, I'm so sorry. That's I'm, fine. Look, that's fine, sir. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm right with you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very Have much. Sorry, we can take more calls, please. You know, let's do it as quickly. I want as many people to contribute. Uh, our political elite must be told that we are not interested in going for another election in 2023. Hello, caller. Good, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Um, well done. Well done with what you're doing, and well done to South Boho. We're really proud of you. And this is not the time for long stories. Mm. This is not the time for long stories anymore. And this is not the time for us to say we're going to listen to our, our kings, our ballets, or, or anything. It's going to do with this us. is the time for the young people yeah. to take. Take charge of their future. Yeah. We need to fight. Yeah. We need to do this. We're not going to listen. There's no sentiment involved mm -hmm. right now. We can't to keep talking. Yeah. Everyone is saying your are are just one of talking. Yeah. This is, is, is enough. We're, yeah. we're, we're, there's no more talk. We need to do this. No more royal fathers. We, we're not taking anything from your royal fathers. They, 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 they let us down. Yeah, completely. They already let us down. Completely. We're not listening to them yeah. anymore. There's no sentiment. Yeah. It's nothing. There's no. We don't owe anybody. We, we, don't, any owe, we, don't, we don't owe anybody. We don't, we don't even owe them anything. Take You're it right. in our hands. You're right. You're We're right. not doing this with nobody. We're mm. doing it for ourselves. Yeah. We're doing it for our children. Yes. The, the old generation is gone. Gone yeah, completely. Completely. Gone. Yeah. One old person, one old generation cannot keep holding our, our future into ransom. Yeah. This is the point that they're rolling yeah. with our lives. We have to fight this. You're and right. we have to do it now. Yes. We cannot let it slide. Definitely. We cannot. All right. Thank you very we much. Move. We Thank move. You. We move. Thank you very much. Let's go straight to the next caller. Uh plus four four seven five nine. Sorry, I did put the number out. Some of you knows the number already. Plus four four seven five nine four zero five zero nine seven nine let's make it as sweet as possible quickly so that we can get as many people am i a quick wait about him wait hello caller hello ekale sir ekale yeah uh abe ruru kobi lati jemi moti we ejo mo dupe kupo fun eshe ten she lori oro ile yoba but ejo ema yo on those days saying ejo Nye ni 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 yi aburo mi si pe mi mo le send the picture and see en to lo ko won lo ba lu ko nbe won pa si o ko nbe omo ilu mi ajo wa koko just a few kilometer si tibiti ganada msti wa ikara mi ganada msti wa ajo wa le mi ti wa just a few kilometer si be aburo te mi Last born to uh, Tiwa, one kidnap when you lock Oja. Nibe, uh, near Baji, I mean, in no Lenot Loba on top be one. Mumoyeti Muson could have born this year. If I don't take a comma sorrow, twelve thousand euro, but don't pay you, Tifla and baby is equal to twelve thousand euro. That's that's one, one, one year, sal one, one year salary aluminium, any low in book. Money, money, twelve, twelve thousand euro. That is why because much they want to me. See, me document it. Do it. Oh, it way it be low. More than twelve thousand euro. So I dread for long. All our thing lay. Am I young? Do stay say. All right. Ma, more they send the picture. Yes, see, see. No, no. Oh, she let me, me, me. I'm aware of it. I'm aware. There's a lot of atrocity taking place on a daily basis. So that the quicker we shut down the system, the better for us. So. I don't want. I don't want. Coco new do state. Just few kilometers. See, we take Ghana Adam. See what? We carry him not. See what? Mo mo do one da continue anymore. Just maybe five or ten kilometers. If you want, once you buy your lane, you okay. All right, to the time you. Allah, 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 Allah. because of the time, uh, not more than two minutes, so that we can take as many calls as possible. Uh, because I won't be able to stay long, I'm not feeling very strong. Hello, caller, good evening. Yes, 
Ebo Ebo Mr. Kelly. 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 Is a, a GoFundMe. There is no way anybody can now have access to the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe is going to be the Nigerian government. The GoFundMe is a is a is a platform that is UK. So the government cannot lock the GoFundMe. So and they cannot stop it and they cannot write a petition on it. People raise money on GoFundMe for different reasons. So as long as it's not being used for terrorist purpose, so you know that there's nothing anybody can do to that. A GoFundMe no, is no, a no, open no, no. I get, I get to continue. No, Mr. Craig, I get to continue. Yeah. So. The announcement of the amount. Shall we further comment? The same thing, not like John saw. Nobody's okay. announcing it. If I want Sarah, my lost only go for me, what they marry you to one day, what they multiply, what they buy a palace over Nigeria. Okay, okay. okay. If you understand, continue, anyway, so let me see. Much, much, yeah, 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 okay. Whatever is there is what they will just take it back to what Nera is value, and they'll say, hey, you buy now, you're that point paper, no, yeah, so. So all that cannot be anything to that. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 Chatri video ti won le kijade ni pa eh oni ati e je ka move on lori e ma e ka tun menu ba lori yen no 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 because yeah. professor some bank go point yeah. of entry child in bank pe so mo pe there will always be traitors among us there's no doubt yes yeah. there's no doubt yeah <laughs> so chatri mo pa to ba wa pelu ti sunday go we're working on all that. We definitely work on all that. I don't want us to go into too much details on that. So we're going to discuss that. 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 Um, you guys have to call back again. Um, few callers have come through. Uh, plus four four seven five nine four zero five zero nine seven nine. It's a lot of calls. Um, I don't have a lot of strength. I'm sure you can see it on my face. But again, Obeta kalubu buena jita nini si kamafi jafadaisi kamafi shiri shiri ibati energy wa lawara wa nisi. O beta katete lo kali tete re ona koja kuma ba pe pupo ese elo gami elo so ke ni ti akia ki e si gbogbo eni ba binu si ole oju yo ti won da mu won da bi asa awon to ba ba oja yo se gbe wo wa won wo ki yo ri won mo I want to buy a bag. 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 I want to and the Kenny Nimope, Tobago, late if she's under the water, 
Tori on fe fun aye wa pa ogun oro ma fun iru eni be pa Ten dey bo ogun an doju ko gogo le yoruba na goguti isede le yoruba de ma da won loro Eni won bi won da eja ta e wo a ma ma wo le awon te ni so ele ko kan ni o nbe bi e a ma to ni pe jiro talk of vision on to o lo si bi ta te ma ma wo le awon se ni to ye le yo ko kan ko na wa ko ja ba pita ka ma so na si le won won fe paye wa awala ni sa beni o pa de tiri to tiri si fende o ma de ye mo igbo osa to ri gege bi mesaya o dide lati tu yoruba le ninu ide to de wa si won wa gboguti ogorun ba gboguti won ase do mare ibi do lorun ma ru bi o to le won ninu aye won atawo to bi mo e all those people are working in central park ten of them for tax ogorun ma bu boju ni won beni ami so wa ni ti e wi ata e ta ta pon oro aye won ma ko lubun kuju ni ami Good evening to my beautiful mother. I can spot her right there on the trade. Uh, good evening, mother. Uh, good evening to every one of you that have also been part of the program. Um, let us say this loud and clear. We cannot be scared of anybody. You know why? Because those body that you're talking about are created by person. Uh, why should we be scared of them? We are asking for our rights. Etowa la berifu. And our right must be given to us, you know, whether they like it or not. And our right is not something that we want to negotiate with anybody. The politicians have opportunity now. Those opportunity is not something that uh, you know they, they should they should joke with before it is too late. Let them take the right step. Let them start debating about the Yoruba nation. One minute caller. Let them start discussing about the Yoruba nation. And there's no going back. We are not going to back down. So if they think that maybe you know we will stop, we will get quiet, we will get tired, they are just joking. We have just started. Hello, caller. Good afternoon or good morning, good evening, whatever you are, and go ahead quickly. Yeah, good evening. It's me, in America. I'm calling them from here. I, thank you very much for the job you are doing. Thank you so much. I'm happy the way you are pushing it. Even your speech today is so wonderful, it's so powerful. Thank you so much. And what I want to say about the Sunday uh, uh, Sunday Bowo, can you hear me? Not unclear. Sunday Bowo, the account, they say they are going to block it, the account. You don't need to emphasize it. Let them do it. That one will fasten everything. It will make everything fast. Just leave it. Don't emphasize on it again yet. Right. Let them block it. Right. It will fasten everything. That's what I want to say. Thank you don't just say anything. Don't emphasize. Let them go ahead. Don't keep quiet. Let them go ahead. No when they go ahead, that will fasten everything. No All problem. of us will come out. Thank you very you much. understand? Everybody will come out for that. No problem. Okay? That's Thank a you. gateway. It should be a gateway for us. Thank you Thank much. you so much. Go on. Thank you very much, my brother. Americana is uh, a very good brother at Biafra, uh, you know, and a very supporting one as well. How hail the Biafra? All hail the middle belt. All hail the Arewa. Let us divide this country. Let everybody stay on their lane. And that way, you know, we can appreciate more each other. This time, this country is not working. It's not going to work for me. It does not work for anybody. It does not work for the Biafra. Let's go straight to the next caller. Hey, hello, my brother. We missed you. We actually miss you. And we thank God for the job that you are doing. Good evening, my brother. Amen. Ajo, na ma fi gba ile yoruba lo wa awon je gudu se rai sheri nkan ti mo fe so ni pe let us be focused 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 olorun a de wa leyin wa mi so ju be ise gani 
A lot of people will ask, what can we do? Oh yes, you can do so many things. Whether you are praying, whether you are going to contribute, whether you are going to do a lot of strategy. Those strategy can be done in big pocket. Put those strategy in place in your community, in your town hall. You know, engage the people. And that will also facilitate how we're going to come out of this contraction called Nigeria. Enough yes. is enough. Hello, good morning, good evening, and yes, welcome sir. to the program. Uh, I say, give you a picture. Uh, can you go straight to the point? In continue to verse on me, in cooking, cutting job, in my family, don't you, not take it. It's during the top of the world. It's between the top of the world. I want to see it. Just give me a few minutes, no call. Let me play a video just to buttress what the last caller said. There was a video I captured on our way to Ilaru, and this is what the guy has to say. Just bear with me, please. Do not call yet. Please do not call. I want us to listen to this video. If you're calling, you're disturbing the, the video. It is important that we watch this video. This video was captured by me on our way to Ilaru, where another vehicle, another vehicle was saying that he's ready to die. Die! And he must be called when the time comes. So this is not a joke and it's not a threat. So let us go peacefully or we go the other way around. Let's watch the video again. And that tells me thousands and thousands a motorcycle boy rode with us all the way from Abelkuta straight into Ilaro from Ilaro to where we had the operation of the Fulani and all the way back because we went back again to Abelkuta before we finally came back to Ibadan and this young boy, Loyo Kada, was with us all the way through. If federal government thinks otherwise, they don't know who is Chief Sunday at the Yemoibongo. Well, Monton Kwebe, Toba Monton Kwebe, what back down. But Yoruba Nation is about every one of us, and we are not backing down. Take a few more calls. And then I'm going to start winding down slowly. Like I said, it's not going to be a late night broadcast for too long. Hello, good evening. Good evening, my brother. I can't let you share. How are you? I'm going to advise you. I'm going to come and wait until I'm going to go to the hotel. There's no way I can do that. It's going to be a mixture. I'm going to be a mixture. 
I've, I've said that from so many, I'm speaking to the international community. Hey, but she be you, I want, I want, I want, I've said it so many times. The Bafei program Yoruba Nikon. The Balo Soda on Odudua TV. Yoruba Lo Soni Be Direct. I cannot. I have said it so many times. I cannot go back into it. If nobody is happy with the Yoruba and the English, there's nothing I can do to that. You know, it's going to be a mixture. I'm very sorry. I've said that so many times. It's the problem. There's no problem with that. Right. But, uh... We go straight to the next caller. If you want a Yoruba program. There are so many programs. Ten your logo, they speak Yoruba direct. If nobody's happy with that, you know, so you cannot tell me what to do on the platform. So if you want to listen, there's nothing much I can do. You know, I'm speaking to the international community. It's no, not just the Yoruba people. Ah. Hello, Mr. Koleki. 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 Hello, Mr. Hello. 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 More our life for the program, so I don't care what we have more life for the program. I saw a little more our life for the program. I saw a little, it's probably not where I'm live from. Program line is blocked already, anyway. Um, I think that will be about it for me this evening. Um, I'll be back again, same time again tomorrow i can't take any more calls i wish i can do more um it's quite a little bit late here and i sleep very very early so that um, i can have enough energy and uh, we appreciate every one of you tell your uncles your brothers your nephews they should not think about 2023 it's going to be a waste of time nigeria will break before 2023 last year dumari we're not taking any more calls uh you know so i'm going to turn off these uh, the internet on this so that the cause is not going to come true anymore. Uh, one thing we can all do for ourselves is let us engage. You know, this was given to us is not enough. We have said it again and again. Somebody deliver this to us today. It's um, the Yoruba Nation awareness stickers, uh, uh, flyers as we requested. Right, these should be bundles and bundles and bundles that should be going from one corner of the Yoruba land. If every one of us, like I said, you don't have to send the money, give us these, we will make sure that it gets to where it needs to get to. Right, and these was delivered, um, you know, this afternoon, so we still need a lot of that. Uh, more stickers. We will continue to update you what the situation is. Um, we will definitely be visiting other states very soon. I'll be telling you closer to the time. But one thing is, the politicians are thinking that this is a joke. And I pity them. And all of my 45 to you. Federal government gone. Konile, konile, Rather than them raising the motion of why we were not want to be part of the Nigeria again, they are thinking that we are just going to keep quiet. But if you know the politicians, tell them that we are telling them collectively that the Yoruba race is about to brighten up. We have been kept underneath for too long and this time around we want to prove to the world that we can change the dynamic but that dynamic can only be changed not inside nigeria a nigeria that does not have the opportunity the nigeria 
that has expired. The Nigeria, that is the fraudulent country that cannot even support you with a thousand naira from your bank. So who are you keeping Nigeria for? For what purpose are you trying to save Nigeria? Who do you want to save Nigeria for? Let us unite. Let us stand together. Yes, some of us, we do more than the others, but we appreciate every single person. Not just on this platform, all the media platforms. There's nothing for you to be scared of to come home if you want to be part of the movement. They cannot do anything to any one of us. We are more than them. That's what a lot of you don't know. The numbers. We have the numbers to play with. And this country don't know what they are dealing with. <laughs> you want me to show you that Ibarapa again? Just to remind you. Let me see if I can quickly show you. Let me just remind you of what took place in the Barakpa. It might look like it's quite long ago, but that Ibarakpa will still be something that millions of people will remember. There was so much energy because they wanted to chase away the Fulani from their land. And I'm sure some of you have heard Seriki says each time to back boss on the Maja. This is not about me. I am not perfect. I am not the bravest. But I will stand shoulder to shoulder with every single one of us. We will not leave anybody behind. And we will not leave every state behind. You don't have to send the flyer to me. Send it to other media houses operating on our behalf in the country. Send it to Kogi, Kwara, Oshun, Ondo. Send it to them. Support them. Don't, this is not the time to think you know, otherwise. We haven't got the time. I had the opportunity to see Professor Banja Kitoye. I won't go into details of the meeting. But I can tell you. His heart is with Yoruba nation. His body is with Yoruba nation. At the age of 80. And you are still thinking otherwise. Tiba by 80 years old with so much energy in him. So why are you thinking otherwise? I know some of you say we should be careful. Oh yes, we are taking precaution. We are not going to be stupid. But I am not scared of anybody. I'm only scared of my creator. I'm only scared of my creator. Scared of this government. Scared of this government. Never, 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 I said. Never, never. They say we cannot come to Nigeria. I asked them why. Who owns Nigeria? I'm not coming to Nigeria. I'm coming to Yoruba land. And if they make any attempt, we will not tell you what will happen. But we are prepared for them. Even UK will not save the hearts of this country. All their moves, if you have any vital intelligence, share that with us. Share those information with us. Give it to us. Don't hesitate. Share that information with us. Don't let this government to scare you. Oh, more Yoruba lawa, I walk in Shefulani. I dey in Shawusa, I dey in Shibo. Oh, more Yoruba niwa, I walk by Roma Berujoba. I need Berujoba. And the mistake of the past will not repeat itself. Because the world has changed. It's a global village. I'm speaking to millions of you across the globe since last year. Some of you will never have opportunity to see me physically. But our message has touched you from the point of where you know as well that what we are saying is the fact. 
but the pain that our people are going through is different from the picture that you see on the videos and that is why we must all remain focused like our last caller sorry i can't take any more calls the line is, is already closed i wish i can take more calls i haven't got the energy tonight but what i want us to remember is this is our mothers of our mothers so don't sit down and say it's got nothing to do with me oh these are the people feeling the pain in every town rural areas let's get another just want to refresh our mind. This is Dr. Fatai Aborole's parent crying, asking for justice. Up to now, the federal government and the state governors have not given us who killed Dr. Fatai in Ibarakba. That's the mother crying there. Let's play that again. Okay, I think that's a short one. I have a long one. That is the mother of Dr. Fatai Aborodi. Now, let me show you the energy of that day. Let's show you the energy of what took place on that fateful day. See the crowd. 
I hope the federal government knows what they are playing with. You cannot kill all the Yorubas on Yoruba land. Go possible. A very, very good evening. My name is Olayo Mikoiki. Thank you very much to everyone that have joined us. Share the broadcast. Let it reach. Download it. I can't have access to the YouTube to download anything. Help us to download it on YouTube and share it on as well. Uh, thank you very much. I can see you there. Have a very good evening from this end. My name is Olayo Mikoiki. Bye for now.